Okay, it's been, you know, five, six weeks, however long I take between these. <laughs> I was busy with the holidays and family and other other things at work. But anyway, I'm going to record another one of these. Project Euler, I think it's pronounced Euler, I learned that, you know. Number series here from 21 Amicable Numbers. I'm using a, what is this, Dark Reader? Because I like high contrast and I like to think I live in a cave even though it's daylight right now. But anyway, Amicable Numbers, Project Euler, problem 21. Let D of N be defined as the sum of proper divisors of N, which are numbers less than N, which divide evenly into N. So if D A is B and D B is A, where A and B are not equal, then A, B, A and B are an amicable pair and each a and B are called amicable numbers. For example, proper divisors of 220 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 11, 20, 22, 44, 55, and 110. Therefore, D of 220 is 284. So if you take the divisors of 220, which are these, you add up all of these divisors, you get a sum of divisors, which is 284. And then the proper divisors of this sum, 284, is 1, 2, 4, 71, and 142, and the sum of the divisors, well, the sum of these is 220. So if you take a number and you sum up its divisors, and you get that sum, which is 284, you take the divisors of the sum, which is 284, and you add those up, and you get the original number you started with, then they are an amicable pair. Or, yeah, they're an amicable, they are both amicable numbers, and then you can add those, and you want to get the sum of all of these under 10,000. So the only thing, where this doesn't work is where a is not equal to b. So if this, if the sum of, you know, 220 was 220, we're not going to do that, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, I'll go and write this up for you. 21 problem. Okay. And of course, like everything ever, we got to include the standard IO header. Maybe I should just include the, um, the printf function instead of including the whole header. But you know, we're not worried about minimalism right now. We're just worried about getting a problem done. But we're going to have a maximum number here, 10,000, which we're going to define. Uh, put this up. All right. Now, usually you do int main. You can also do void main. I'll just do int main because why not? Otherwise, it'll probably complain at me. But we're not going to pass it anything. Our main function here. We don't need to pass it nothing. All right. So our variables here, I'm going to have a couple for loop indexes, a couple loop indexes i and j. I'm going to have a couple sums here. I'm going to call it temp sum one and two because I'm not original. I'm going to have a final answer, which I'm just going to initialize to zero for the moment. Equals zero. And then I'm going to have a number array. I'll just call it number array. I'm going to make it uh, five or ten long. I'm just going to have five, which you'll see later. But I'm going to initialize that to zero. And this is basically when we find an amicable pair, I'm going to add basically the larger one of those two into this number array so that the next time we come across the other number in the pair, we're not going to include it because we already summed it up once. So for their example, 220 and 284, which I can't get out of my not a VM here. <laughs> so 220 and 284, the sum is, is greater than the original. So I'm going to add, when I come across 220, I'm going to add 284 here to an array. And then when we come to 284, I'm not going to consider it because we already went over the amicable pair of 284 and 220. So it's basically just cut down on a little bit of processing time. And if we added them up uh, twice, then our answer would be wrong. So we don't want to do that. But I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm also going to have a counter for the array. Um, just to say, you know, how many numbers we have in the array, pretty much. Because we need to put the first amicable pair number, and then we need to increase a count, and then put it, you know, the next one into the next position in the array. That's all I'm going to use that for. Just an in index counter for the array. And then I have a skip. So skip, uh, skip number, yes or no. So if we already come across an, an amicable number that we've already gotten, we don't need to do it again, so we're going to skip it. So that's what I'm using that for. Um, but those are all the variables we need. So what I'm going to do is start at 2. Um, we can start at, I think 220 is the first one, so we could start at 220, but just for the sake of you know learning and everything. I'm going to start at 2, because there's no numbers less than 1 that are going to be evenly divisible into itself. Uh, for a divisor. So 2 is the earliest that happens, and then, you know, it has 1 and 2 as divisors, but I don't think we include itself anyway. So really, I could just start at greater than 2, but you know what? I started it at 2, whatever. <laughs> We're going to go through all the numbers up until 10,000. I'm going to initialize on each iteration our variables, our, uh, our sums, so I can initialize them both to 0 here. I'm going to set skip to 0 because we're not skipping any numbers yet. So the first thing we need to do 
uh, for our number that we're looping through is get all the divisors underneath it and then add them up to get that first sum that we need to get divisors for again. But I'm going to get all the divisors under our current number that we're computing and then I'm going to add them up. I'll put and add them all up. Yes. So that's what we're using our second uh, divisor here for, for J. J equals one, J less than I, J plus plus. Maybe eventually I'll have more descriptive variable names, but that day is not today, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but to get a divisor under a number, basically just check if a number less than the number you're getting divisors for is um, is evenly divisible. So if, if our number is like, you know, 10, and we go through all the, we're getting the divisors of 10, um, 10 divisible by one, I mean it is. If it's evenly divisible with no remainder, it's a divisor. So the, the um, one of the divisors would be one. The next one would be two, because 10 divided by two is five, no remainder. But three is not. 10 divided by three is three with one as a remainder. That is not a divisor, because it's not evenly divisible. You would have a remainder. So that's all we're doing here. Um, temp sum, we're gonna add j because we're we're getting a sum of all the divisors under the number the, under the number. So when we find a divisor, we're gonna add it to our sum, which is just you know plus equal. We're adding it to the previous sum we already got. So that's all we have to do for that. Um, I don't really need this bracket here, I guess, although it makes it more easily readable since we only have one thing we're doing here. Uh, C is good like that, and um, that's probably not proper uh, coding behavior, but whatever. Since we added up a sum of all the divisors under our number, now we have to get the divisors under that sum and see if it equals our original number. So we need to get all the divisors under this sum and we need to add them up. And add all of these up. Can't type, that's okay. And it's the same thing, but I'm just going to put in a little check here first if it's not equal to our number because in our original condition we wanted to see if a and b are not equal d of a b d b of a where a is not equal to b so this will only be true if the sum the sum of the divisors are not equal to the number itself we don't need to take that because that is not part of this problem description so we're excluding those if that makes sense but if our sum of the divisors of a number is not equal to the number then we need to get the uh um, the sum of divisors under our sum of divisors, <laughs> if that makes sense. So we're just looping through again. For j equals 1, j less than the temp sum, in this case, j plus plus. And again, maybe we don't need these brackets, so I'm going to put them here to begin with. So if temp sum 1, instead of i, uh, modulus j or modulo j is equal to 0, if it's evenly divisible, and then we want to add to our second sum, um, you know, our divisor here, J. So yeah, I don't need these brackets again. Okay, so now that, now that we got our divisors, if our second sum of divisors... Lost my place for a second. If our second sum of divisors equals our original number, which is I, then we have an amicable pair. Or we have amicable numbers, I guess amicable numbers all right so then we we're gonna add both to answer add both um, number and temp sum one to answer okay so if temp sum two equals our original number if our sum of divisors of the sum of divisors equals our original number then we have an amicable pair so that's what we're doing here Okay, so we need to loop through all of this, and what I'm doing here is basically setting up a little check, because we're going to add in a second. Um, I'm setting up a little check. If our numbers are already in our array of previous amicable numbers, then I'm going to skip them. That's all. I'm, I'm setting up a check here to begin with, to see if we need to skip the number or not. It helps the problem run a little bit faster. So, so if our original number or the sum of divisors of that number are in the array, then we're going to skip them. That's, that's pretty much it. And I'm not including standard bool, so, you know, I'm just setting a 0 or 1 for skip. Um, but if we haven't found the number in our array yet, then skip is 0. And what we can do is add it to the array. Add it to our answer, first off. And since we're adding both uh, d of a and d of b, since we're adding our original number, 
and the sum of divisors of that number for this problem. We can just add them all in one line to our answer, which is cool like that. And then we can set the larger of the two into our number array. So number array array count equals our temp sum one. Because it looked like for these, at least for this problem, up to 10,000 and probably uh, you know much greater than that numbers. Um, the sum of the divisors is larger than the original number for all of these applicable amicable numbers. So I just have to get the larger and put the larger of the two into the array because we're not going to reach the smaller of the two anyway. We're just, you know, because we're iterating up until 10,000. So 284 is larger than 220. We're going to put 284 into the array so that when we reach it, um, we don't need to include it again because we've already uh, added those to the answer. All right, just increase our array count. Although I could probably just put array count plus plus into here, and that might work. I forget if C allows you to do that or not, if that works. But anyway, since we got all these, I'm just going to put in a little check to see what numbers we get in our answer at the end. So I'm going to put a printf. I'm going to put um, our, our number i, which is percent %d. I'm going to put in our temporary sum, which is a percent %d. And then I'm going to put in our answer that we're computing, you know, at, uh, up to this point, which is also an integer percent %d. And I'll put a new line. That should be it. So we have i, temp sum 1, and answer. And I think that is all I need for this problem. So after we loop through all these numbers and we get everything under 10,000, we have our final answer. So we'll print out uh, the final answer here. We'll do in, let's do final answer percent D. And we'll put another new line to put it on its, uh, on its own self. Yeah, okay. That seems to be all I did for this problem. So this should work, um, although should is a great keyword there, which means I probably typed something wrong and it won't work. Um, equality comparison result unused. Yes, skip equals one. I always got to leave one in so you can never tell if I'm taking myself seriously or not and if it was supposed to be that way. Yes, but you'll see. We're going to type out all the intermediate amicable numbers here. So the first one was 220. The temporary sum is 284. So we added 284 to the array so that when we later reached it, we skipped over it, which is what this is doing, checking if the number or the temp sum one is in the array. These are the next pair of amicable numbers, you know, three, four, five. This is why I only had five for the number array because there were only five applicable numbers under 10,000 that were for this. And we get our final, final answer, 31626, which is what we reached in our browser here, 31626, haha. So yeah, that's, that's all there is for this problem. Hope you guys understood and enjoyed. It's pretty simple. You could probably still simplify it a little bit. I'm actually curious if C allows you to do this, because I forget if it does, if this actually increases the number every time and then sets it equal. I might have to do a plus plus on this side, but I'm curious if that works. So let's see, probably doesn't. And it does, it works. So <laughs> you can save yourself a tiny bit of type in here by just including it there. So that's cool. I might try to remember that for the future, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's how you do amicable numbers under 10,000 for project Euler number 21. Next one will be number 22 whenever I get around to this, hopefully before, you know, another two months are up. But anyway, that will be names scores. So that'll be interesting reading the names and scoring them somehow. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one.